Hey everybody, it's Brenda. I came, I'm came. i coming today to do a recorded Happy Mail video. I got a Happy Mail from Mary C. Jones. She is a subscriber. And she sent me a box that won't fit here. So, we're just going to pull some stuff out of the box. And I will show you what we have. So the first thing in the box was this box. The contents of the box are in the box. And what it is, it's a craft light cutter. It has six different blades on it. It will cut straight, wavy, zigzag, fold, perforated, and stamp. No, and it's lit, backlit. So all the contents to the box are in the box. We'll get to those. That was on the top. So this looks like it might be the blades for said cutter thing. Just set them aside. And I had told Mary that I needed fabric scraps. That's the one thing I don't have. And we've been doing Happy Meal back and forth, back and forth. And so this is a Happy Meal of all kind of goodies. So, oh look, I'm going to move that aside. I'm going to be able to make some really pretty snippets with this fabric. This is gorgeous fabric. I like it. It's really pretty. And then we got a bigger piece. I like it's got the little coffee cups on it. That's cute. That is awesome. And then we've got some more little snippets of that to make snippets with. And some little strips. Oh, this will make an awesome little snippet strip. Of that. And then we have this fabric here. Oh, that's pretty. Got little hearts on it, gingham print with hearts. That's awesome. Let me, I'm gonna move my fabric off to the side. And we got another piece of that. <coughs> Excuse me. So I hope everybody's had a good day today. And I got my box yesterday and I didn't open it till today, so I really don't know what all is in here. There's some yummies, it looks like. Oh, this is pretty nice blue fabric. I like that. Cut it down into strips and make some snippet rolls. Oh, that's pretty. This is kind of like a muslin-y kind of fabric. Oh, cool. I see some pretty fabric. That's cool. Set that and fold it back up. Oh, and we got some teddy bear Christmas. It looks like Christmas teddy bears squares. That's cool. These would be pretty cute on a Christmas journal, on the pockets, or to even make pockets out of. Some paisley. Oh, that's a nice strip of paisley. And pretty burgundy color. And then we've got some plaid. Oh, I love this. Look at the... Oh, I like that fringy part. That's good. That's pretty. I have all kind of ideas. Some more, some more of the plaid. That's pretty. And I like the way that that frays out. That's nice. And some other smaller pieces, but that's fine. These are like great clusters and great snippets. And then, oh, somebody was trying to quilt or was quilting. This is pretty. Little teddy bear stamps, some blue floral, brown floral, and yellow. That's really pretty. And then we have several pieces of this fabric. Oh my. I, so I love all of these colors. This turquoise and reds and purples. This is gorgeous. And I'm just going to unfold some of it and just put it all together. How is that unfolded? Oh, it's two pieces. There we go. So I can keep it all together. There's several pieces of this. This is really nice. I like that. That is gorgeous. And then we have this yellow with little hearts on it. That's pretty. And this, which is a very nice neutral <coughs> fabric. Excuse me. Very nice neutral. It'll make great snippets and snippet rolls. I love this. 
Mary, this is awesome. All of this is definitely going to be able to be used in journal making and ephemera. Let me put these back in their baggie. I'm just going to set it to the side over here. And I'll put them back in the box later because the box is full. Whoops. Ooh. This looks interesting. Oh, it's like upholstery samples. This is awesome. All these colors. Can y'all see that? That's a softer one. That'd make a great little mini. These would make great mini journal covers. I might see some mini journals in my future. These are really awesome. They're all about the same size. This is this one's pretty. They're a pretty blue color. And a pretty rust color. Some more blue. These would even make pretty snippets. Oh, wow. And then this is a quilted kind of like upholstery material. And then it's the same in this. It's brown, orange, and green in that fabric. Oh, that's awesome. And then we got a gold and a green in this fabric. I love this texture on here. Can y'all see the texture? There we go. And then we have these two in these colors. That is really pretty. I love those. We're going to put those back in the baggie. So many journals. Put those down here. And here's the next baggie. And in this, we have this fabric. Oh, there's a piece of that. Oh, that's pretty. And that's really pretty. Oh, this is gorgeous with these roses on it. Oh, wow. Some ivory lace and little rose flowers on that. That would be really gorgeous as a snippet. This has little flowers on it in the background. This is really pretty. And then we have couple of pieces of this one with the green with the flowers Mary you went above and beyond totally above and beyond this is all gorgeous I love that green background color on that we have these several little squares of this with the green background and little flowers on it that's so pretty and then there's this one with the green again with some flowers and florals, pocket fronts, little page covers and everything. Ooh, this looks like a collage sheet. Okay. Oh, <laughs> doesn't matter, does it? Some of it's going to be upside down. So, French Chateau. This is gorgeous. All these little labels on here. That's pretty. That'll be pretty in a junk journal. And then here we have this white. That's pretty. So, Waverly Inspirations, it says on there. So, that's a nice, pretty little fabric. And this is, it's, it's not real thin. That's good. That's a thicker one. And here's some gray and white gingham. That's pretty. I have paper that'll match that. And then this looks like mattress ticking, pillow ticking, something like that. And that's what it feels like. That would be awesome as a cover on a book. That's pretty. I like that striped fabric. And then we have a zigzag pattern. So the zigzag, the stripe, and then the gray these all together on a, in a journal that would be really pretty 
I like this with the yellow in it. That's gorgeous. And then, oh, wow. I hope that's showing up. This is another one of those little swatches. And this one's got glitter in it. And, oh, it's just really pretty. That would be awesome as a little mini journal cover. Envelope pockets. And then we have this one. Ooh, that's pretty. And it's got texture in it. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see all the texture in the stitching. Those are gorgeous. All of this is awesome, Mary. Thank you so, so much. And it will all be used. It may take me a minute. Ooh, look, Christmassy stuff. I love Christmas. Santa's. Oh, that's cute. Santa with his sunglasses. That Santa's bald and lost his hat. That is some cute Christmas fabric. I like that. Oh, and some red. Oh, that's a doily. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Love, love, love the doily. I'm going to keep the lace separate in case there's others. Put the little Santa Claus is back in here. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I can't show this packet, but they're very cute and very cool. And you have some... more fabric scraps. Uh-oh. One moment. Is that a straight pin? There's a straight pin holding the mesh. Okay. Oh, wow. You pull all this out and set this aside. Move my pin over. So in this bag, we have that is pretty. Now, what I've seen with this, Gail Agnestelli, and I hope I'm getting your name right, Gail, puts these at the top of her pages as like a flip-up and has an image under them. That will be gorgeous. Ooh, this is like some really thin, filthy kind of material. I like it. Great for backs of snippets. And here's a bigger piece of that. Same material. It's shiny on the back. That's gorgeous. And some white material. That feels nice. Oh, a circle. That will come in handy. And then we have... Oh, a pattern. Mrs. Santa Mouse sewing the clothes. I wonder if that's what these are. We'll find out. Look at these squares. Oh, these are gorgeous little squares of fabric. I love these. I have from now till Christmas in July to figure out what to do. Because these are awesome. Those are gorgeous. So are these the clothes to Mrs. Santa Mouse? There's a star. That's what this looks like. It might be a stocking. Or it may be something different. A bigger stocking. <clears throat> Can y'all see that? That's pretty. And two... What looks like mittens. Oh, a heart. And that's a bell. Oh, wow. Maybe these were going to be ornaments. And it's gorgeous fabric. And then we have this little bag. Oh, wow. And I don't want to dump all the little pieces out, but there's like a little candy cane, a present, some little beady things, some leaves. And is there a new Santa's list? Oh, this was to make something. Like maybe a kit? Or, oops, I lost a beady thing. That's 
Interesting bead. Okay, so let's see what we got in here. Some kind of ribbons and laces. Ooh. I love this ruffly kind of lace. This is gorgeous white ruffle. Can y'all see? Lace. And I'm going kind of fast because YouTube, this is recorded. YouTube gives us 30 minutes to record. And if you don't get it done in the 30 minutes, they stop your video and it's gone forever. A piece of white yarn. Some more. Oh, that's pretty. White lace. Great for journal page edgings. And then some ribbon. Oh, this is crunchy ribbon. Ooh, I love crunchy. That is pretty. It's like a dark green and a red. That's a pretty little bag of ribbons and laces. Now I'm going to put all this back in this other baggie. Oh, another straight pin. Let me get that out. Sorry for the rattling noise. Okay, and then we have... Oh, that's one bag. Okay. This looks like a very interesting baggie. Oh, goodness. Uh-oh, I'm going to make a mess. Okay, it's a couple. I'm just going to pull it all out over here to the side. And then we can put it back in the bag. <laughs> Ooh, a pretty washi tape. It's got rainbows and stars. Oh, that is cute. It's a little clip with the poop emoji on it. That is so funny. I love the poop emoji. Oh, I like this. It's ribbon with dangles on it. That's pretty. I'm just going to start putting... And then here's a sample of washi on a little spool with hearts on it. That's really cool. I'm putting the washi up there because it goes in its washi container. And then some little cutouts. These are cool. Little die cuts. We have a star. A tag. I like this with the unicorns on it. An already finished tag. Oh, a paper clip with a smiley or clothespin with a smiley face on it. Oh, cool. Little birds. I'm going to keep those out. I was cutting out little birds earlier. Little tags. And these are... They're, oh, these are peel and stick. They're backward. M.I.A. Army Brat MVP. So they're like rub-ons because they're backward. That's cool. Rub-ons. We have this star. We have... Fresh. We have some tool. Oh, wow. Can y'all see these little tiny elephants? They're little tiny. Keep those out to go in my stickers. And a clothes pin to alter. And a banner, a pear, and a bunny. Some leaves. An umbrella. That is so cool. A nice oh this is on something oh wow is that a pocket oh I love this I'm making a sunflower journal Mary this will be perfect it's already got a little tassel on it it's already got the top finished on it that is awesome lay that in there pencils and those feel like stickers starburst stickers the little turtle is cute and so it's a little bird oh wow Pancakes, the little gel pen. Keep that out to put in my pens. More little animal stickers. I'm out of you. Some little hearts. That's cool. Now, all my stickers go in one bin, so that's why I'm putting these back in the bag so I can keep them all together. Oh, wow, a little egg tag. Kiss, kiss. That's cute. I can use that for Easter time. Rainbows. I love rainbows. And then we have these, your invited stickers. Ooh, another tag. This is awesome. 
I like this. Make your own mag magic. Always be yourself. Unless you can be a unicorn or a mermaid. Of course. And then you want to be that. Make time for happiness. I love this. And I love eyelash trim at the top of these tags. I'm going to put that in my finished tag box. I should do that with these other ones. Into the finished tag box. And into the finished tag box. That way they're there if I need them. Oh. Keep that out to put on clusters. It's a little piece of the thimmer. Some more little stickers. Little eyeball. A little heart. A mushroom. I'm keeping the mushroom out. I'm making clusters. So things I know I can use on what I'm making currently, I'm keeping out. There we go. And then this is... I think it's more stickers. Amount per serving. Three sheets. Total fun. Tons. This is hilarious. If, I'm going to use what's on here, but I'm going to save this. This is funny. Creativity, 100%. Possibilities, endless. Entertainment, 100%. Communication, 100%. Combinability, 100%. Percent daily values are based on using Mrs. Grossman stickers and a basic, well-rounded diet of fun and creativity. I am keeping that little card. That is awesome. And I'm going to use those stickers. That little card on the back of that's funny. Another one of those tags. Enjoy. That's cool. Finish tag bin. And the giraffe and the go-kart. I love these stickers. Those are fun. Oh, how cool. Birds and a house and a flower. We're going to put that back there. I love these clear. I thought that was the other thing. This is a cool tag. I like that. Put that back there. He's a little mouse. I don't want him to get lost. Or the little fishy. Look, it's a little clown fishy. We're going to have to have part two. Because I'm going to run out of time. Oh, another little tag. And it says, oh, that's a vellum tag. We're going to stick it back here. And we got some little owl stickers. He's cute with his little googly eyes. And an anteater. Ooh, paint chips. I love these. Oh, a black one. Oh, these are awesome. More stickers. Oh, look at these butterflies, you guys. And those are stickers. I'll put them with the stickers. Oh, and another ones. Oh, I love this altered paper clip. That's gorgeous. I have a box that they go in. And we have more of those stickers. And some other stickers. These are cool. These are going to make making tags so easy. Oh, look. Tim Holtz people can sit on this chair. I, I cut out furniture for my Tim Holtz people that are sitting. Oh, and a couch. Oh, this is so awesome. Oh, I love that. Put it up there so I can use it in my making things. Those two. Look at this bear. Okay, guys, here's what's gonna I'm going to do. I'm going to go on and end this video because I don't want it to stop on its own. And then I will come back and start a part two video. So, see you in a minute. Bye.